Hi, this is Matt Irons with Irons Family Insurance. Thank you so much for joining me on this video of annuity advantages. Today we're going to be discussing the differences between an annuity versus a bank certificate, otherwise known as a CD. And when we're comparing these two types of investment vehicles, uh, you'll want answers to a few important questions. The first two would be really back to basics, and, and that is what is a bank certificate, or otherwise known as a CD, uh, and that is a lump sum of money with a bank. And what is an annuity certificate? It's basically a lump sum of money with an insurance company. An important question uh, you'll want to ask is, how fast will, it, will my money grow? Uh, the answer to that is, uh, it will be your money will grow slower in a bank certificate versus an annuity certificate. Uh, with an annuity, uh, your interest is tax deferred. This means you get to keep the money you'd otherwise pay uh, to the government. A quick example of that would be uh, would be this. Uh, let's just say we're investing $100,000 at 6% and we're at a 35% tax bracket. In 10 years, uh, your investment would grow to $146,607. And in 20 years, that same investment would be uh, $214,937. With an annuity, that same investment amount of $100,000 at a 6% uh, interest rate. However, the major difference here is instead of being at a 35% tax bracket, we are deferring our taxes. So in 10 years, that 100000 grows to $179,085, and in 20 years, it grows to $320,714. Next question, what if interest rates change? It doesn't matter if rates go up or if they go down or if they go the same. Uh, with a bank certificate, you're always going to get taxed. So no matter what happens, you're always going to be losing a chunk of money that you would have earned. Again, to illustrate that, the same $100,000 at a 6% interest rate, 35% tax bracket, and uh, you would earn $6,000. With taxes, you lose $2,100 of that, so you're actually left with only $3,900. Your actual investment return is actually only 3.9%. With an annuity, if you invest again $100,000 at a 6% interest rate, we defer our taxes, we would earn, again, $6,000, but with this, tax collector gets nothing. So at the end of that year, you are left with $6,000. You are actually getting your 6% return. As you can see, there's, there's no comparison uh, with an annuity versus a bank certificate. You are put in a much better position uh, in terms of earning potential with an annuity versus a uh, CD. And the reason for that is really one major thing, or actually three major things. You get your interest on your principal, your interest on your interest, and of course interest on your tax savings. One other point uh, to mention here is with bank certificates, the interest can affect or uh, reduce your Social Security benefits, so very important to uh, retirees. Another important fact is annuity certificates you can pass on to your heirs probate free. Uh, basically works just like a will. The annuity is a contract. You set up who your beneficiaries will be when you pass on. Those uh, benefits are then passed on uh, to your beneficiaries and of course you avoid probate with that. Safety. Insurance company versus a bank. With banks of course we all know the FDIC. Uh, it's a federal insurance program they have of uh, insuring up to $100,000 per uh, depositor. With an insurance company, you have very similar type of guarantees. Uh, here are just a few interesting facts. One, uh, these guarantees are regulated by the state insurance department. 
There is a minimum capital and surplus requirements that uh, insurance companies have to provide. 100% minimum reserve required by law. Insurance companies have to file annual statements. They have to do statutory accounting. Uh, there are investment restrictions on annuities. And there is what's called the guarantee fund. And again, uh, all 50 states have something similar to the FDIC uh, for annuity certificates, and that is called the state guarantee fund. Works very similar to the FDIC. Here's just a quick example of the difference between uh, a bank certificate and annuity. Again, it's just illustrating uh, the catch that you have with the FDIC, and that is you're paying taxes on, on your money every year. And here is a uh, example of that again. Annuity certificates are safe and guaranteed uh, by the reserves. Uh, billions of assets by the world's largest life insurance companies. Again, going back to the uh, state guarantee funds. Uh, just like the FDIC, you are protected. Here are some other great advantages just to point out here. Uh, with an annuity, one, uh, you're non, it, if you have non-qualified funds, meaning it's not an IRA or a 401k or anything like that, this is just uh, your own money that you then want to invest. Uh, this money uh, gets tax deferral and can earn much more uh, than a CD would have. Uh, there are no renewable surrender charges. And then with a named beneficiary, again, we avoid, uh, avoid probate. And then there is free uh, annual withdrawal provisions. And then five, uh, there are life income guarantees. And six, annuity interest rates are usually higher than bank rates. And uh, with annuities, uh, before you would say yes to any annuities, I wanted to provide you with a few no's. And uh, that would be no loads. And basically what that is, is there's no commission charges. Uh, much like with a mutual fund, uh, there are loads to that. Uh, basically, they take out a percentage of whatever you invest and pay that to a broker. And with an annuity, there are no loads, there are no fees, there are no sales charges. There's no market risk. There's no tax during the accumulation period. There's no charge against Social Security. And there's no lack of safety and no lack of liquidity. So really, there's really no excuse not to invest in an annuity. Here's a uh, fascinating quote uh, from the Assistant Secretary of the U.S. Treasury. And uh, he says, uh, From a standpoint of a contract holder, a deferred annuity during its accumulation period does not significantly differ from the long-term certificate of deposit which is, incidentally, also may be subject to penalty if it's surrendered prematurely, or any other portfolio investment which may be reduced to cash at any time. Nevertheless, interest from other portfolio investments is taxed currently, whereas earnings credited to a deferred annuity are not. To the extent that annuities can be fashioned to offer interest rates that are competitive with rates paid by other financial instruments, there is little reason why a potential investor should purchase anything but a deferred annuity. And again, here's just a quick comparison. Which location do you want your money in? Location 1, a taxable bank certificate, where you're going to lose one out of each three years interest to taxes, or location 2, a tax deferred annuity. And again, with a tax deferred annuity, you decide when you're going to be paying the taxes on that. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Hopefully I have uh, given you a bit of information on the differences between a CD and an annuity. And as you can see, there are a variety of advantages uh, to an annuity versus a, a main certificate. If you have any further questions, please call me. I'm more than happy to help. My phone number is area code 602-573-4198. Thank you so much and have a great day.